You want to say anything about uh, the steamrollers today? They're, they're really bad. <laughs> <laughs> How easy is this, is this game going to be for you guys? Pretty easy. I mean, it's just the steamrollers. If you think about it, we're 4 0 and they're 0 4. So. What do you think about the steamrollers? Mm. Uh, I feel like the captain could have had better picks in the draft with uh, what he had. Zayden, you have one last chance to be able to get that first W. Uh, do you think it'll happen against the Redbirds? Uh, we're going to die. We only lost two to one last game. I think we can do it. Our <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is game 11. We got the Redbirds versus Steamrollers. The current standings right now, the Bomb Squad are at the top of the standings sitting at 4-1. and one. The Crushers are sitting at 3-2. and two. Redbirds at 3-2. and two. And the Steamrollers at 0-5. Oh so the Steamrollers are already out of the playoffs, but they can still have a chance at redeeming themselves and trying to win their first game ever. Alright, here's a bat toss. Home team. Hey, we're visiting. Dayton, who's starting uh, for the steamrollers today? We got Connor starting pitching. I think he'll do pretty good. Connor, Hi. Connor, how are you gonna do today? Uh, I'm gonna uh, have a perfect game. Yeah. Lucas, what's the percent chance you hit a home run today off Connor? Uh, negative four. <laughs> Last game, us steamrollers was very, very close. So we'll see how this goes. First with Connor on the mound. We'll see what he can do. All righty. Chandler is the starting pitcher for the Redbirds. Connor is the leadoff batter for the Steamrollers. Ah! <laughs> and the first strike of the game. Oh, oh! single. Oh, and he is out by an inch. Lucas showing that he is a gold glove contender. That was a beautiful play. That was a good first hit. Thank you. Pretty, pretty close to getting a base hit. Yep. Sam is the second batter for the Steamrollers. Oh, and strikes him out. Right down the middle. Dayton is the third batter for the Steamrollers. He's due, in my opinion. 2-2. Two, two. And strike three. Start of the bottom of the first after Connor throws 20 practice pitches. Connor is the starting pitcher for the Steamrollers. Chandler is the leadoff batter for the Redbirds. Oh, that would have been sick. <laughs> he has zero home runs, and that's about the only stat that matters. Oh. Oh, strike three. Chandler, first impressions on Connor. Uh, that first strike he threw me was real nasty. It looked like it was going to be right down the middle. Rose up, hit the top of the strike zone, so Connor's definitely one of the better pitchers. You wouldn't know it, but he is. Lucas is the second batter for the Redbirds. Lucas is the second batter for the Redbirds. You're close, you're close. Lucas is the second batter for the Redbirds. You're close. Alright, just roll with that. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, Lucas stepping up to the plate, wearing a black headband, which is pretty cool. And he takes strike one. That is a single. <laughs> Lucas was about a foot away from a home run. He didn't even run because he thought it was gone. Dude, that was like that was like a foot away from the home run. That pisses me off so much. Hey, hey, Lucas. You're going to hit one this game. Yeah. Will is the third batter for the Redbirds. What's up? I just have a dinger right here. Next up is Will, who previously hit a walk-off home run. Yeah. Takes a strike. Strike three on three pitches. Oh, good pitch there. Strike three. Strikes out the side. Connor strikes out Chandler twice. All right, what about Lucas's hit? You know, that was close to gone. I mean, it didn't matter. I mean, I guess it didn't go down, so it right. doesn't count. Right. Yeah, zero, zero. Yeah, the ball landed like right about like there. Was... Well, I, I thought it was gone because like I saw this grass here and like, oh. Yeah. It was very close. What, about a foot away? Yeah. Because like, and Will started. Oh! Get out of here! Oh, and strike three. 
That hits the back of the strike zone. Oh man. Strike three. <laughs> All right, Connor out for another inning after a strong first. First pitch is a strike. Strike three. Strike three. Hunters three. Three strikes. Ooh, two strikes. And strikes out Chandler. Yeah, Connor! Strikes out the side. Connor's looking really sharp after his first two uh, innings. All right, top of the third. Starts with a strike. Strike three. Oh, and his ball, ground ball hits to Lucas. Lucas misses it. And it's a single for Sam. And there goes Lucas's chance of ever getting a gold glove. That was a horrible play. Sam has a single. Runner on first with one out. That was a nasty pitch. Let me say my name. Strike three. And Chandler strikes out the side. Again, Connor looking for his seventh strikeout. And he gets him. Connor has rolled through this game so far, but his biggest threat is up now. Oh my. Strike three. Connor falls down on that pitch. Don't know what happened. Looking to strike out the side for the third straight inning. And he does. Nasty pitch there. We go to the top of the fourth. 0-0. Zero, zero. Chandler, we're in the fourth inning. What do you think about Connor Toma's performance today? You know what? Uh, Dayton gives him a lot of crap for being bad, but he's the best pitcher on their team. Let's, let's be completely honest. He's better than Sam, better than Dayton, better than Max. Best pitcher on their team. As, as, as we keep going, Connor will lose a little bit of that rise on the ball. We'll get one out. Top of the fourth. Strike one. This is why people don't watch baseball anymore. Oh, nasty pitch. Gets a piece. Strike three. Don't watch baseball. Watch glitch ball. Strike three. Chandler gets another K. Strike two. Here comes the three-two pitch. Strike three on a nasty, nasty pitch. Redbridge score here, they win. And a ground ball hit to Dayton. Dayton fields it. Oh, he bobbles it and yeah. Lucas is safe. Yeah. Single for Lucas. Oh yeah, Lucas, we like it. His second hit of the game. Lucas has the Redbirds only two hits. And Swing and miss. The ball two feet above the strike zone. All right, Chandler comes up looking for his first home run in his last game of the season. Strike one. Another foul ball. He's seen it very well. Home run with this pitch. Oh! And that is your ball game. Chandler hits his first home run of the season, and it is a walk-off. His first home run of the season. Dude, I called that. The Redbirds win 2-0. to zero. Yes. Oh! And that is gone! Steamrollers end their season. 0-6, and, and they are 0-12 in their franchise history. Chandler, uh, it's been about it's been about four months since uh, this final moment when you finally get a home run. It's been a while. I mean, Connor pitched really, really good. I just had about like six foul balls before I was able to hit that in that at bat. So 
pretty happy about it. Got some confidence going into the into the postseason, I guess. And uh, let's go. Seeing the post, Connor. I think you had a great game of pitching. Uh, you know, just at the end, Chandler Chandler had it going in that that at bat. Uh, so, what do you think about this game as a whole in the season? I mean, I don't know. The heck. Yeah. It suck. No, you got. I, I think you guys are gonna come back and do good next season. Oh, sure. so. All right, Dayton. Uh, after two seasons uh, as the captain of the Steamrollers, your combined record is 0 and 12. But uh, you showed signs this season that you know you guys aren't that bad. But I <laughs> don't say do not put that in there. <laughs> but they're gonna be like. <laughs> uh, Card did pretty good today. If you practice more, it'll be really good. And so I think we'll have a good season next time. Uh, how do you how do you feel about today's game? It was good. It was really it was a really hard game because Connor's a lot better than. People think he has a dirty riser, but I'm just glad I contributed at least a little in today's game, unlike usual.